manner. And so uh, it comes, here comes the part where you would take a chance on yourself. And this is, uh, I, don't e I don't even know if this is a real thing since I read it in a fucking comic book and I keep quoting it, but it's applied science fiction. And what that is, is obviously a time machine doesn't exist. It's impossible, right? But that's the difference between t Tony Stark's and Bruce Banner. And, and what I mean by that is Tony Stark's wants to be a genius and create. And so the way he does it is he goes to school and then he goes to another level of school and he's a genius. So he progresses faster. And so he goes to the, he, he takes the classes and skills and things he needs to learn the things that he needs to make. And that's just the normal way. Applied science fiction is saying, just challenging the impossible. A time machine is impossible, but I'm going to fucking go ahead and just make it and figure it out going backwards. And that's a great place to be if you're young and stupid right now. I'm going to refer back to the David Chang episode. You asked him now if he would start a restaurant. He said, hell no, because guess what? Now he knows better. He knows what kind of sacrifice. So when you're young, dumb, and stupid is the greatest time. When you have all that fucking energy. You don't even know what to do with it. Is applied science fiction. Challenge yourself for shit that's like not even ex in existence. Create realities for yourself that are, are impossible. Oh, I can never. Do you think me being a fucking poor fucking chink growing up in Koreatown thought I would be the highest paid living artist? Did you think that? Oh, that's just the fucking glitch in the matrix that happened. I fucking planned that for myself and I made it happen. Oh, oh, that's because of Sean Parker and Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook. No, motherfucker. I planned this shit. There's a blueprint and I'm trying to give it to you right now. Applied science fiction. You go backwards. You make impossible goals for yourself. That would be impossible. People will laugh at you when you tell your friends and your family like, ah, that's just them being cute. Yeah, they're, that's, it's nice to dream. It's nice to dream. They're never going to do it. You make an impossible goal for yourself. And you do everything. They, and everyone will tell you. I've been to every fucking place in the world. When I was 18 years old, I went to the fucking Congo during a fucking Ebola breakout. The biggest AIDS bro uh, breakout. And the fucking Civil War. 19... Shit. 1994, 1995. Around that time. You know what everyone said to me? They were like, don't go to Africa. Don't go to the Congo. Uh, this, this reason and this reason and, and all these reasons why. I go, have you ever been to fucking the Congo? No. Most of the world has never been to the Congo. How the fuck are you going to give me advice about a place you've never been to? So we live in a world that lo loves to gossip. We live in a world where people love to tell people what to do. And they are speaking of shit they have no fucking idea of. So when you say, I want to make a time machine, guess what? Someone's going to say to you, you can't do that. How do you know? Have you ever tried? No. What if a time machine is literally a fucking cardboard box with duct tape on it? What if that works? You'll know because you actually tried it. Where this fucking hater, this fucking commenting hater literally just sat there and said, you can't do that. They're haters. They just sit there and they tell you what you can't do. Have you ever tried? Have you ever been to the Congo? No. How are you going to speak of things you don't know? How, have you ever made a time machine? No. Oh, you just can't. You're just a fucking negative Nancy. Everything's no. I don't know how to do that. And they'll always be like that. I'm saying try. And when I say try harder and all that kind of shit, work harder, it's a joke. Because you can't try harder. You just do it. Like fucking Yoda said. Like Charles Bukowski said, don't try to do something because then you're just setting yourself up for fail. Just do it. No fucking retreat, no surrender, no exceptions. Don't go. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and try to accomplish this goal. You will do it at all costs, no matter what. That level of dedication. You think Ninja and Yolandi and Deant Ward living in a fucking slum in fucking Africa thought they were going to be international rap superstars. They fucking wanted it so bad that they turned their dream into a reality. If it doesn't work out for you, try and try again. Try harder and don't even try. Just make it happen. There's no other option. Failure is not an option. Just fucking do it. 
<sighs> All right. Um, you guys, I swear to God, you guys get me so fucking worked up. I don't even know who I'm talking to right now. Am I talking to the 15 year old version of myself? Am I talking to, when I try to visualize who the fuck I'm talking to right now, it's so crazy. But the same things keep coming up, you know, and, and as a person who's 38 years old with an extreme amount of wealth and people ask me all kinds of shit, um, you guys have heard me on the show. I put myself in a perpetual state of uncomfortableness, self-imposed prisons, um, you know, situations where I don't let myself have sex for months. And, and through these things, I find creativity. I know that's not the answer for everyone, but these are the things that I do. And so I, I need to hammer home. I don't care if I sound repetitive. I need to hammer home the points, save nothing for the swim back. What is back? What, what's waiting for you back there? Is it that awesome? Go for it. Go forward and never look back. Don't cry. Don't, don't oh, I miss home. Home is where you make it. Just keep moving forward. Just keep creating. Let the haters keep hating and you keep creating. And when I say these things, I'm going to refer to art now, painting, because that's what I am. But I can refer to everything that's creative right now. Okay? We live in a day and age now where I can go to a music producer, Skrillex, um, you know, Dan the Automator, Money Mark, any, any of these guys. And um, they've created... Uh, Aphex Twin is a good example. Aphex Twin is one of my favorite musicians, producers, uh, DJs, whatever. And everyone has aped his sound. They've stolen it. And all these things that he used to do, all these weird things to create, now that now it's all in one music program and you can sound even better than Aphex Twin with a click or a button. I used to find broken bus benches and cardboard and wood on the side of the road. I used to make my own paint, uh, just you know, the things that they do with spray paint now, the, the tips that you put on, it, it's like using an airbrush and it's it's unbelievable. Like, it's things I would have never imagined. The, the, the twins from Brazil, Os Jameos, came to the studio and showed me what they did when they were young men in Brazil trying to create a specific line and just experimenting and cutting caps in half and, and doing all kinds of weird tricks. And th this is what I'm talking about. Technology is here now. And it has made it so easy to do anything. Like, I don't know, Guitar Hero. I don't even know if that even treats you how to make a play real guitar. But there's so many tools here that make it just two clicks of a button and everything so simple. I'm challenging you right now to not do that. Yeah, learn those things. Don't, don't say no. Don't be one of those people that says, fuck technology. The old way is better. Records are better. Everything's better. No, it's not better. Technology is fucking awesome. And guess what? When you want to talk about never losing, technology never loses. Okay? If you have the best horse, bug, and carriage, guess what? You still lost. Cars won. And when they have fucking flying cars, that's going to win. So don't say fuck technology. Don't be one of those like weird Robert Crumbs. All respect to Robert Crumb. But like all those like Chris Ware, Robert Crumb, everything old is cool and everything new sucks. Don't be like one of those people. Accept, embrace technology. But I'm challenging you right now to be the best fucking creative artist that you can be. Train yourself with rocks, paper, scissors, the most archaic of tools. Okay? Just literally, if you were in the jungle by yourself, in a prison, and all you had was a stick, and all you had... Say, say you were trapped in Kinko's, and all you had was a fucking whiteout, some scissors, and some fluorescent. What can you do with that? Don't ever... Have the technology and materials be the excuse for not creating good art. Because you can make good art using anything. So use the most simplest, most archaic, the shittiest spray paint, the shittiest paint, and see what you can do from that. And then when you have mastered that, when you have mastered painting with the most shittiest watery spray paint, the shittiest musical tools, I mean, not that I'm the best drummer ever, but when I was a little kid, that's all I wanted to do. I saw Steven Adler, John Bonham, Tommy Lee. I was like, I want to be a drummer. 
and all I knew from the Motley Crue videos and all that is the logo Pearl. I saw the logo Pearl and I said, Pearl is like the shit, there must be a good drum maker. I couldn't afford it and so I took a summer job and my mom said, if you come up with half the cash, I'll pay for the other half. And um, one day I looked in the recycler, which for those kids who don't know is a newspaper, there was no internet, and it said Pearl Drums, $200. And I was like, what? Because Pearl Drums, the cheapest one, even used ones were like 500 bucks back then. And I couldn't believe this. I was like, Pearl Drums for 200 bucks? And I had made 100 bucks and my mom said she would give me the other 100 bucks. So we drove all the way to the valley. I couldn't believe it. And we get there. And they are not Pearl Drums, the brand name Pearl. They're just Pearl colored drums. And they're the most shittiest drums I've ever seen in my life. There's no hardware. But I couldn't pass it up and I took him home and I chopped up pans and brooms and I made the my own hardware and the, they just sounded like shit. They were the worst sounding drums and I had duct tape, you know, they kept breaking, but I had to play on those. It's all I had. And I learned to play on these shitty drums and I played so loud to get even a little bit of noise out of them that when the day came and I could afford my first real professional pearl Fuck Pearl, I never even got Pearl, I got Tama um, drum set. I mean, because I had learned on the shitty set, I was flying, I mean, it was amazing. In the same way, I learned off the shittiest, shittiest, like auto mechanic, 99 cent spray paint. And then now with this all this new uh, Spanish Montana paint and the 94s, you, you can only get better. So always never use materials as an excuse of being a shitty artist. Oh, sorry, we don't have Wi-Fi here. You can't use your uh, computer thing. So then at least know how to play guitar. Know how to play keyboard. Learn. Always be learning. I hate school and you've heard me say it be before. That's fine. Learn the shit you want to learn. Learn everything that has to do with the thing that you're going to go into. And don't be a fucking idiot. A lot of you out there are stuck to your appearance. Like a lot of you are, are probably wondering about this. Yeah, you think I'm stuck? I could get rid of this right now. I don't need this shit. Look, there you go. I wanted to be like a fucking weird guy with the white wig. Get there. I just got rid of it. I don't know what it is. I don't know this the society that's obsessed with, uh, with your image. Image is everything. I'm going to give you a huge leg up on life right now. A lot of you right now have like big fucking plugs in your ears, weird shit in your face. You have nipple piercings and shit in your belly button. You have the fucking lamest tattoo ever. I'm just expressing myself. I'm just expressing myself fully. Oh, you are? At what cost? To look cool to who? To other fucking mutants you know what you're you're right image is everything and so i'm going to tell you this right now you want to grow like weird facial hair you want to have like fucking tattoos on your face and weird haircuts and uh, you want to dye your hair and shave the side of your head and go ahead do all that shit but wait wait you want to do all that stuff? It's really in you. You're like, me, the person I am, has a shaved side of the head, a teardrop tattoo, huge plugs in my ear. That's me. When I look in the mirror, that's how I want to see myself. Because why? Fuck you, mom and dad. Fuck you, society. Just wait. If that's really in you, I'm asking you right now to be patient. I'm not saying don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, I've done it all. I've dyed my hair. I've had piercings. I've done all that shit. So I'm telling you right now, as a 38-year-old man, you want to do all that fucking shit? Go ahead and do it. I'm just asking you to wait. Wait for what? To get a leg up in life, okay? Tricking. I'm talking about trickery right now. If you right now in your head is goatee, huge beard, and all this shit, you're not going to get a job. No one's going to hire you, okay? You're not going to get the girl. She's going to be like you're a freak, and you're going to get... Whatever. I'm saying right now, 
Camouflage yourself as the sheep. 